Hi YouTube friends, welcome to another interesting video. As usual, I've come with a collection of uh, different videos of what happened this week in Zambia. This week we had a lot of stories, some are murder cases and also some are interesting but I'm still working on the collection of murder cases that have just happened in Zambia. So remember in the course of this week I will be able to uh, upload the video once I finish editing but in the meantime you can watch and um, try to share with your friends subscribe to this channel so that every time when I upload my videos you are updated on what is happening in this country our country Zambia enjoy the videos I am going to be I feel sorry for you Let the people of Zambia decide whether they need President Lungu to come back or not. It is not uh, the issue of debate. Let them decide. We have seen a lot of people have gone to polls and the people of Zambia have said no. We have seen a lot of politicians who would want to stand as members of parliament and the people of Zambia have said no. It is up to the people of Zambia to decide. It's up to the people of Zambia to decide. And the people are speaking a lot concerning Alewele Lapo. It's the UPND ministers because they are failing the president. They are failing the president. That's why I want to encourage the president to fire these ministers, Mr. President. They are sitting ducks. These ministers, fire them. But President, you have never issued in a man who has summa. I have to be a child. By issued in a man who has summa, I have to change the economy. But President, you have to be a baker. But for the other one, my ministers. No, but these ministers, they are not helping him. They are not helping him. It is not enough just to be called a minister. It is not enough. You have to work. And for the us, yeah. O kuya fnya pwa kabola lelo kuleta my experts pwa kabola la my expatriates mubungo. O kuya leta pwa ama expatriates mubungo. Shish benefyo ninga veta pwa sakala nyongo. Bakabwalala, bapompwe mushibila nsala, balala nkwibe, ababa pompo liongo, ababa puti, bama piete, baka tiete mwenda mwali mwa, baka sonko mwona, bakula pa mpampa mina, aba luwele ba mpele, ba mwenda luwali nso kashamu pamba, ba chibe chibe, ababa nkanyama ilo baka sange mpanga na vocha. Pamula nduwa vuchumbu mshololua. 
na bumpere mbechi wala matui na kalafia kale mbobu chinga na ishiku shawila mo bali walo wakafisi niba 50-50 niba leto unwe sumeko niba apuele ati nde puento yoka nishibale ipuwa bene niba apuele baka nwa katari Sirie kotuya Inena mwene nefye kuma appointments Na ishwa na oku ishwa tiyape na bola <laughs> Na mwene nefye <laughs> Owe olala Na mwene fye ama appointments na ishwa na oku ishwa tikoka ya tampa Ukuya chita point ya waluele wa mpele Badi yawe ni yawa aleri ya mwaka hunda wa ishuwa tupunda tuwa kuhibira mwa. Badi yawe ni yawa isa na mwe mwe mdi. Badi yawe ni yawa mwe ni yawa isa na mwe upiendi. Na mwana na chukwe nobu lema buwa ingira. Badi yawa unse badi yawa shio nongo wa mwurira kulepuka. Bana mwandu. Banshikuta. If you've enjoyed today's content, subscribe Ukula ufako fia 6 million hectares of land. 10,000 hectares of land. Ama billion nga vaisa ya lumula ya CDF. Nita tanareta la mapi ya nomboko ya ya nikui. Kwa isa nombolu wa miti. <laughs> Ava ntubale fwamu fipatalo mu. Ukwa vule miti. Na kapi mino ka bipi tamuaba. Na kapi milo kama leri ya tamuwa ba. Na pana do tamuwa ba. Na ka prescription tamuwa ba. Ba, 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 ba lemba patu pepa tuwa mashinda pepa. Mwe watu ba kwa lesa zambia chalo chao na ika wake up. Uh, Madam Speaker. Ona ona vo anakoka. The MP for Wena. Madam Speaker, it is uh, a very well-known fact that uh, all members have equal rights and equal access to information in the Assembly. Madam Speaker, when I rise here, as I have done now, for a point of order, there is no way I can know the ruling which you already have. That MP rose on a point of order for which you have a detailed ruling, Madam Speaker. How did you know that you have that ruling? I seek your serious ruling on this matter, Madam Speaker. Honorable Member for Honorable Member for Lunte, you are completely out of order. When a point of order, you, do you think the presiding officers just walk in here without preparing? We prepare and we do things in anticipation. So, so how can you draw imputations that uh, the honorable member for Luena knew what the ruling was? Did you know what the ruling was? So, so why are you making those insinuations? Or the Honorable Member for Lunte will withdraw the, the, that point of order. Good day and good morning to all listening to us by uh, through social media. We have Honorable Rafael Nakachinda, the Secretary General, having a press conference. But I will give a preview or brief background remarks. Yesterday, in Kawambwa District, Honorable Magistrate Martin Namushi 
sitting as Kawambwa subordinate court, delivered a judgment involving Kawambwa member of parliament, who is also our deputy secretary general, Honorable Nixon Chilangwa, uh, his counterpart, Pambashe MP, Honorable Ronald Chitotela, and five others. Um, you are aware that uh, a prison sentence was given um, against one of the counts of malicious damage to Honorable Nixon Chilangwa. And for Honorable uh, Ronald Chitotela, uh, the matter of Asoni in which he, the magistrate found them guilty has, has been referred to the High Court for sentencing because the case of Asoni requires a sentencing higher than 10 years. In this matter, uh, Mr. Chitotela and Mr. Chilangwa, with five others, have been appearing in the Kawambwa Magistrate Court for alleged cases of arson, threatening violence, malicious damage to property, and uh, assault cases allegedly committed in August 2021. It was orchestrated by the UPND, and pronouncements were made, and the declarations were made by the UPND that they are going to target Pambashe constituency, Kawambwa constituency, and according to their plan, actually they were, those two were supposed to come just after Kabushi as well as uh, Kwacha constituents by elections. But so uh, the criminal enterprise that was undertaken by the UPND, you know, collaborating and conspiring with the Electoral Commission of Zambia. Uh, unfortunately, uh, where judicial officers observe and are committed to ethics and professionalism, the majesty that was presiding over the cases in the case in Kawambo, or cases in Kawambo of our colleagues, would not have even, you know, qualified to preside over those cases because uh, there were recordings of him having meetings with some of the uh, UPND officials, some from state house, being instructed that he needed to convict the colleagues with or without evidence. And uh, Honorable Chilangwa took it upon himself when those revelations came out and went and complained at the Judicial Complaints Authority or Commission. <laughs>
So for him to take to get to bring back that money at, at 185,000. So, so and then I'm going to So I'm going to sit and 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 I'm and then I'm going to sit and 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 i am going to sit and i this Sunday at 9 p.m. exactly, the kingdom of UPND will start crumbling. Because I'm going to tell the world what is going on at State House, what is going on at the community house. The people, the criminals that the church call special advisors. I'm coming with their dealings. I want to show the whole world that for the first time in the history of Zambia, there is a government that is extremely corrupt. What is going on in Zambia today has never happened in the history of that country. But before we start crumbling UPN, before we start destroying UPN, which is a guarantee, once we start this Sunday, UPN is gone. In fact, as I speak to you right now, UPND is just a shape of its own. Its members are tired of hatred. Its members are tired of greediness, are tired of selfishness, and are tired of corruption that is taking place. This is the members of UPND. How about ordinary innocent Zambians? Just turn in 9 p.m. this Sunday and see for yourself that the people that you call leaders, the people that you call special advisors, the people that you think that are angels, they are actually parasites. Now, before we do that on Sunday, I have a question for the opposition. Why are you sleeping? Why are you sleeping? I mean, when do you want to be serious with politics and be serious with life? Politics is a serious game. Politics is a war. You can never win an election being a coward. Edgar Lungu is being a coward. Fred Member is being a coward. All the opposition leaders are being cowards. This is not the way to win an election. One year before election, 
we don't have an alternative for a change. We are going to crumble him. We are going to destroy his government starting from this Sunday. I'm not alone. I'm just the, the visible demon. There are forces, unseen forces that we, I mean, watch and see for yourself starting from this Sunday. Watch UPND melt like an ice cream. But before we do that, who is the alternative? Etika Lungi is not a serious person. All these guys are not serious. Who is going to challenge a church in 2026? We are going to tell people, we are going to crush you. We are going to tell people, this is who HH is. This is the mistake that we made. This is this. This is that. This is our relationship with HH. This is what we did before the election. This is what we did after the election. People's eye about HH will open. If you've enjoyed now, today's who content, are we going to tell them to vote? Subscribe yet? Are we going to tell them to vote Spirit? Up to now, three years down the line, there is no person that is standing as a challenger. Somebody that we can lay hand on and say, remove this guy, put in this guy. It means you are not serious. I'm giving you from now till Saturday, before the Sunday broadcast, to come up and say, this is our front runner. This is the person that all of us must rally behind and take power from HH. As for HH living office in 2026, it is done. Read my lips. You can be a stupid press singer that don't know anything. When I start talking, you understand how election was won. You understand that you are a press singer. You did nothing. You are you you were sleeping. You just woke up and say, hey, HH has won election. The people that played the game, the people that did the job. None of them want to work with HH again. HH has lost it all. Why? Because of corruption. Two, greediness. Three, selfishness. This is him in his family. This is him in his ministers. This is him in his PSCs. All oh, the people that he appointed, they are all criminals. And they are all greedy. And they are all selfish. When they eat, they clean their mouth and go back to their others, go back to their members and tell them to work very hard. But they are not working very hard. They are not sharing opportunity. Everyone is tired. They are going from this Sunday. We are starting the war. Nothing will stop it. Tune in 9 p.m. and hear for yourself. But before we do this, we need an alternative. Hit that subscribe button. Opposition must up, carry the war. Don't forget to carry share the, the love by with their your own. friends Then and this family. is the person. Stay tuned that for the next for video us. dropping tomorrow. Until Thank that you is for being done, a part of Wilson's YouTube The broadcast family. that I'm going to do on Sunday will be the last ever. I will leave you to suffer. I don't suffer. I mean, I live in paradise. Everything is okay for me. This is for you. Many of you opposition are, are already... Okay, I don't want to talk too much now. Let us meet on Sunday. On this page, 9 p.m.
enjoyed today's content, have you subscribed yet? Subscribing, liking, and sharing are the keys to becoming an integral part of our growing family. Do the